Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive. Last episode guys, we had some suspicion with Jackson. Where is he? I just saw him outside my house. Hey Katie, what's going on? You alright Katie? Um, where's Jackson gone? There, is that him? No, it's not him. Yeah, we had some suspicion with Jackson over the murder of Cody. He lies right there in his temporary grave until we have built a proper grave. Where is Jackson? He's always hiding. I swear, he's always hiding. I can never find him. But, you guys remember the conversation that we had with Jackson in the last episode. And, oh, there he is there. He's at my house with Katie. Hey, Jackson. Yes. So, we had some suspicion with Jackson. Um, and you guys remember the conversation we had with him. It seemed very, very suspicious. Asking what I was up to. and I, Because you guys know I went to go and check for evidence in the battle tower. And we found Jackson's sword. Which I don't want to show you because he's outside. I don't know why he's staying around because we actually did hide it let's go in here and make sure no one's watching so there's jackson's sword that we found in the battle tower as evidence with and there were footprints with blood as well so it looks to me like a murder had been committed but we don't really know for sure we need to question jackson properly we haven't done that yet we we just i don't know we, we just really need to question him so what i think i'm going to do guys with Jackson is I'm going to hold him for questioning not now but I'm going to do it eventually but before we do that I want to show you what I have been up to look he keeps hanging around my house what is he doing does he know that I have the sword it is so weird but guys I've been up to some a lot of stuff and look look at this I've been building like crazy I told you guys I wanted my plan was to make this village all safe and penned in and we have been doing this wall uh, it's been taking forever. I've been just going down, chopping chopping down trees and stuff. It's been taking forever. But so far, I think it looks really, really good. I really like it. Um, I like the way both sides look. And you can go up the stairs in the middle. If you haven't seen it, let me show you guys quickly. So you can go up here. And then you can walk around on here and monitor the village and outside the village. So I plan to set the guards home up here and some outside as well. Which I think will be cool. So when they sleep they come up here or something like that. Which I think will be good. But we're only like a quarter of the way there. We've done this and then we need to finish that. And then maybe around the other sides as well. Which I think will look really really good once it's all done. I do plan on moving a lot of these houses around. I don't like the way the village are organised. I probably plan to have like one corner be like residential area the other corner being like farms and then the other corner maybe a shops or school or prison graveyard and stuff like that and then the other corner maybe just like a park where people can go fishing and in the, or park maybe in the middle and then everything all that stuff all around it maybe i think would be good maybe do like a residential area at the back maybe and then park in the middle and then over here maybe like prison school church and then some and all just spread that out over here i don't know we'll work it out i've just got to work out the layout of the thing hey hey guys what's going on jessica i'm your best friend am i hello all right guys so uh what i did other than mining oh let me go and see if all my iron is cooked because i did find a lot of iron i went mining i don't think i told you that i went mining as well guys because we needed some stuff so i got i mainly just got iron and coal so i put all the coal in here and all the iron i got oh that's jackson's sword uh, here we go. So we've got 35 iron. Not bad. Not bad. Not not that great. Oh, and I've been organising my chest as well. So this is what we've got. We're not doing too bad. I, just, I needed to go mining so bad. I needed to go mining because Colby, Colby's let me down. I don't know where he is. We need to actually find him because I think he's still hired. I just don't know where he is. Guys, they, these guys just like disappear all the time. Colby anywhere to be seen? No. Oh, so difficult. You need, I need like beacons on on people that are higher so I know where they are. Oh, is this him? No, it's not him. That's no, it's Jackson, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Jackson. Where's Colby gone? Because he is meant to be hired by me, mining down in the mine shaft. But every time I see him, he's up here. Maybe he's back down there. I don't know. I don't know where he's gone. Maybe he died. <gasps> Did he die? Colby can't have died. Surely not. Where is Colby? Don't tell me we've lost another villager. He was our only miner. 
Ah, oh, no. Let's go check in the mine. He might be in the mine. I'm not sure. He might be down there. Is he down here? Oh, she's a long way down. Because I tried, as you guys know, in the early episodes, I tried to get Colby to come and mine for me down here, and it just it didn't go too great. <laughs> he he wasn't as effective as I thought it would be. Like they don't really mine that great. So I want a kind of a team of miners, and I wanted to get a few miners. Maybe, but we only had one in our village. But maybe, oh, let's grab this redstone. Maybe, um, eventually, when I find another village or something, I can hire or convince them people to come and work for me which would be pretty cool i don't think Col colby's anywhere to be seen no he's not oh what was that down there <gasps> he didn't no he, he was upstairs he was up he was definitely up at the top when i last saw him let's go and check all right if he's not up there then we're gonna have to get on with things. I don't think he's dead. He's probably there somewhere. I probably just can't see him. He's probably ran away or gone into some other house or something. I don't know. We're we're definitely find him. But guys, like I said, I really want to question Jackson. I really want to question him a bit more. But I just I need to get him away from everyone so I can just question him one on one. So in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do. I'm not going to arrest Jackson. I'm not going to put him in prison. Let me go to sleep before any of this happens. Um. I'm not going to put him in prison. I'm just going to hold him for questioning like people do in real life. You know, if the police have suspicion that someone has committed a crime or something like that, they will hold them for questioning for like two days or so. And you, they will ask some questions to see if they have enough evidence to charge them with the murder. So before we do anything like court or anything like that, I kind of want to question Jackson first. So what I went to do, I set up... A holding chamber kind of area so this is where we're gonna hold Jackson in here I can't get out <laughs> I, don't, I didn't make two buttons this is where we're gonna hold Jackson for now I'm gonna hold him in there so we can question him let me go and find my um, I find a button where's the button I need a button I've got loads of stone where is it there we go and then we can do that on the other side oh that's cobblestone I need stone stone, there we go. And we can make this. Why? Oh, is that, oh, you only need one. Huh, didn't know that. Right, let's make this and then we can go and sort out the little hole now. It's not a prison. It's not a prison, so don't call it a prison, guys. Here's a hole in here. Hey, Victor. What's going on? Where is Colby? I'm really worried about him now. Right, let's do this around here. Oh, bam. So he can get out if he wants to, but I think he will follow the rules of the village. Um, now every I did have a conversation with everyone and everyone did agree that um, it was fair yeah, I'm not, not to have him under arrest but to um, question him so that is what we're going to do and everyone has agreed that we're going to question him over there so Jackson where are you I'd like you to follow me Jackson come here Jackson follow me please uh, we are gonna where'd he go why is he not following me Jackson follow me Oh, I need to... Jackson, you're going to make me pay you to question you. Oh, coming in. I've got no gold on me, have I? I've got gold in there, though. So let me go get some gold. Where is the gold? All right, let's grab this gold in here. I only need you for a short time, Jackson, so we can question and ask you some... A question. <laughs> so we can ask you some questions about what has been going on. Where has he gone? These guys, they just run around like crazy. There you are. Right, uh, follow me, please. No, he needs to hire you. So, special hire. One hour. Come on, follow me, please. Jackson. Jackson, come here. Uh, follow me. Right, we're going to go in here. Are you kidding me? What is this guy doing? Come on, Jackson. Oh, he's got stuck in the water. He can't get out. Oh, he does. He did. Come on. Come on, Jackson. All right, he's following me. All right, Jackson. This is going to be your holding cell for the questions that we have for you. Are you going to follow me in here? There we go. So, Jackson, I want you to stay. Um, we will be questioning you later on. But before we do this, I want to make sure there is no conspiracies going on in this village. And no one can actually get to you to kind of, like, 
get their story straight because just in case he's had anyone that helped him out so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to put an electric fence around the, the holding area so if you're wondering what electric fence let me show you guys what we need is a fence and some bone mill and then we will put this in there I'm, i might as well do all of them and there we go we have white fences so let me make all of these white fences we have 30 white fences now what we need is the iron which i made before and a redstone torch uh, let me make a ton of redstone torches there we go so let's make the torches and oh let's pick that up so we've got the torches now only nine. Oh yeah we only had nine sticks wasn't it so we've got the torches there and we are done i think so now we need to put the fences there and then we need to spread this around like that uh let's do that and then we need to put that there and that gives us electric fences right there um oh that gives us quite a lot i don't think we're going to need that much cool let's let's keep that right there so let me show you this guys this is a part of the furniture mod so i want to show you what they actually look like i'm not sure if i can actually mine back up uh what are they called electric fences but let me show you what they do so this is the normal fence like a white picket fence which looks really cool uh it's wood so you you get it back with an axe and then the electric fence is the same texture but made out of iron and if i walk onto it it will electrocute me so no one can get to jackson that's what we plan to do we plan to put it around the little prison area so no one can actually get to him and try and get their story straight or anything like that i want to protect him and look at him he's staying in there so let me put these all around i think there we go whoa whoa, whoa. i'm gonna die um why can't i put it there oh there we go Try not to get too close to these guys because they do do quite a bit of, ah get away they do do quite a bit of damage look can i put it there like that yeah okay do i have enough oh i need one more and it was oh look at that perfect amount because this one's here so now oh the thing is i don't want any of the other villagers to walk into it and die so um i might put some of these around as well just to double protect it because i'm worried now that other villagers are going to walk into it and die as well so let's put this around here this is only temporary until we find out the truth with jackson it looks a bit ugly as well i know that but let's do this Oh, we out. We out. Aha, see? She would have died. Valerie would have died. Valerie, move. Can you jump over these? No, you can't. Cool. So I think, I personally think that is enough protection for now. Um, let me go and get some more fences just to finish off that last bit. And I think we're good to go. We can actually go in there and maybe start asking him a few questions. Um, right, what, ah, oh, I need a fence, I need sticks, all my sticks go on here, right, let's go and craft the remaining fences of that, and I think we should be good, and Jackson, I guarantee no one's going to get to him now, guarantee it, where, oh, five fences, bone meal, there we go, cool, happy with that, that should be enough, six, six fences should be more than enough, so guys, uh, oh, whoa, 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 oh, <gasps> Who was that? Damn! That was exactly what I was worried about. A guard just died. I don't have no clue who it was, but a guard just died. That's exactly what I was worried about. Who was that? Let's see if we can work it out. Nicole, Donna, Marissa, Victor. I have so many guards though. Guards and farmers, that's all this village is full of. 
Hanna. We've still got Ashleen. Was it Katie? <gasps> Where's Katie? No! Katie just died! Did she die? There's Aaron. I do, do not see... Usually Katie hangs around by my house, so... Let's see if she's over there. Alice? <gasps> I think Katie just died, guys. Katie just died! She walks into the electric fence. Maybe... Maybe she was in on it with Jackson. That's why she was trying to get to him. Wow. So Katie just died. And I don't know where Colby is. Colby's like disappeared. I have no clue where he's gone. Anyone over there? Nope, no one over there. So guys, we just witnessed Katie. What are, they, what are these guys trying to do? Please get away from the electric beds. Please. I don't want you guys to die. Right, it's just to keep him safe so no one can get to him, like Katie just tried to do, but she died. So we've lost Katie, guys. Katie died. Katie is dead. Wow, I can't believe that. So, guys, we are going to question Jackson. Jackson, it is me and you. What do you have to say for yourself, Jackson? Huh? What do you have to say for yourself? Am I going to be nice cop or bad cop? I don't know. So guys, in the next episode, I will let you know exactly what Jackson had to say for himself and what our next move is going to be regarding the death of Cody. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you again in another episode of Minecraft Comes Alive.